competition, day number eight, I believe, of Heat competition. One has started. Yes, we heard the horn on the other side of these uh, trailer walls. Uh, welcome to the ice box. Man, it is freezing cold in here, people. <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, I need the AC, man. I, I run hot. All right, and here we go. We're hopefully, we're going to see some hot action out the back. These are um, the round number... Hold on, hold on. Let me get this situated right here. <laughs> round number... One. <laughs> round number six, <laughs> oh, six, heat number one. <laughs> yeah, heat number out one. in the water, we see Mark McCarthy from South Africa <laughs> in the red jersey and in yellow. The current tour, tour points leader in yellow, Dave Winchester. So it's going to be a very, very exciting heat for sure. Both of these guys know what's at stake. Mark McCarthy, he's the close, he's the furthest away, furthest one away of a group of four or five that have uh, you know, a long shot of yep. getting a world title. What he essentially has to do, Mark McCarthy, is win here and win at Front, front home. So yep. it's still possible for him, but um, he would have to knock there out Dave uh -huh. Winchester to make that happen right here. So is there 25-minute heats, 12-wave maximum, I'm guessing? We are looking at a 25-minute heat, 12-wave maximum. Top two waves will be scored, and the scores are... Um, the average of the four judges will give you a score. Okay. And then the top two scores will be added to give you a uh, sum of your top two scores. And those are the points that will either uh, progress you or say finish. Yeah. We are finish. So I've got Steve Action Jackson. He's tuned in from Rio de Janeiro via Skype. He's going to give us uh, you know, those interesting facts and little factoids about our competitors. And uh, he's been pretty much on key with everything. And if you want to see some cool interviews and everything bodyboarding, check out his blog at uh, bodyboarding101.blogspot.com. So he, he is there with some pretty cool stuff. He's going to be updating his blog pretty much weekly. So that's where you can get some pretty epic information. So here we go. The number five rider, Mark McCarthy, versus the number one leader in the points for this year, Dave Winchester. This could affect the world title race. It could. It could. Um, me, myself, I am rooting for Mark McCarthy. <laughs> and uh, But Winnie's, Winnie's absolutely good, so it's going to be pretty hard for Mark, you know? Like, this is definitely a heat to keep an eye on. Mark McCarthy kills it. And both guys kill it, so... Uh, uh, <laughs> Of course, I'm going for Mark, but man. I, well, I, Dave Winchester has been a, on a roll from uh, the very first event. Yeah, and uh, I think being up number one, you're you're the one that everybody is going to be trying to take down. As, as, exactly. And, and so, to come in as an underdog, Mark McCarthy, he uh, he's going to have a lot of a uh, lot of support to see if they can take out Dave Winchester. But if you're in Australia, make sure you tune in and uh, let us know you're tuning in and going for your favorite rider, whether it be Dave Winchester or, or any other other uh, Australian still in the event, Andrew mm. Lester. And yes, I believe uh, those two are the only two Australians remaining in this event. Waiting patiently for that solid set, solid first wave is what uh, these two riders are waiting for. I we already Go ahead. I think uh, right now Dave Winchester has priority due to Mark McCarthy paddling to that first wave. That's why, as you can see, Mark McCarthy's a little bit on the inside of uh, Dave Winchester. So We do have a priority system in effect. And the priority system is um, usually when you paddle for a wave or ma make or look for a commitment on the waves, um, you lose priority. And right here we have Winchester taking a look, look at, at this, this thing. First wave of the heat could go down right now. Five minutes into this heat, Dave yes, Winchester. It's Dave Winchester Make dropping in. And oh then right my God! Right there, first oh ball ride from Dave Winchester comes wow. out. Oh, clean roll right there. Dave Winnie Winchester opening up with a good solid wave right Ooh, there. Hoo -hoo. Mark McCarthy uh, wave exchange right there. He is not going to have the, obviously the higher scores uh, that Dave Winchester is going to get on that first wave of the heat. And the competition. Look at Mark McCarthy. You can see him paddling full strength right now to try to get back out to the outside before Dave Winchester. Because after these two riders catch waves and they're both on the inside, 
the priority will go to the rider who gets to the outside area first. And uh, you're going to see a lot of that going on in this man-on-man yeah. -man priority system in effect. So Mark McCarthy, I believe, is wow. out there before Dave Winchester. Wow. So the first scores are starting the drop. And you can see we a 7.75. The judges are wow. going to be a little conservative right yeah. off the bat. They don't want to be giving out 9s and 10s. Um, in this very first heat, they want to have a little bit of leeway and are going to base pretty much everything else from that wave. A seven wow, point here we go. Five. Replay. Dave Winchester just looking at it, stalling a little bit, makes a clean oh, bottom oh, turn oh, and oh just my. into the barrel. Like perfect. Oh. Perfect. He's still driving through the barrel, looking for the section. As he comes out, clean, nice, nice. rollo. Good projection. Just stalls and looks for something else. Nothing really happening, so he spins and opts out. Mark McCarthy up and riding. Mark McCarthy, nice, clean body. Oh, oh, my gosh. That was amazing. Does he Can land he it? it? Can he pull it off? It he has to be in control out in front of the wall. Oh, my oh, gosh. Mark McCarthy answering back with an incredible reverse air spin. And uh, unfortunately, becomes unglued. Mark McCarthy has to hold on to those maneuvers if he wow. wants those points to come down on his scorecard. Take, Take another look. Wow, Mark McCarthy, check out this wave. He's looking for the section, hits the air reverse, gets projected. Oh. He actually looks like he lands, and then the white water just catches him. No way. It's been uh, happening to everybody lately, you know? Um, the white water has been eating people up, and it's just that's how they lose their scores, like high-scoring waves, possibly eights and nines, and guys are just eating it. Oh, in the white water. Incredible. That was uh, pretty pretty insane for uh, Mark McCarthy and uh, Dave Winchester's wave exchange right there. Um, but Dave Winchester, that s solid barrel ride, comes out with a clean roll to start off the day. That was unbelievable. So if uh, Dave Winchester is uh, knows what's at stake, which is a possible world title, yeah. he is definitely uh, making an effort here in the first heat. But you know what? Mark McCarthy, definitely a contender as well and definitely a fierce competitor. Look at this wave coming in. Dave Winchester opts to go up and over that one. Thank you all for tuning in from all over the world. Wow. David Soriano, yes, the first one to log in and uh, write down a comment in our Facebook page, IBA World Tour. That's where you're, you're going to be able to talk to Trevor, Cam, and I, Manny V. David Soriano in Venice Beach. What up, brother? Felipe is in Portugal. Sam is in the sunny coast. Thanks for the little heart. <laughs> <laughs> Yaniv is in Coffs Coast, New South Wales, or uh, Australia. <laughs> He's going for Winnie, of course. Sam of course. in the Sunshine yeah. Coast. We got Samuel, Western Australia. Clayton is tuned in as well. Jarrett is going for the South African, going for Booty to take out Winnie in this first Booty. heat. We will see Silvio in Flor Florianopolis, Brazil, and everybody tuning in from all over the world. And there are your scores. 16 minutes and 50 seconds remaining out of this 25-minute heat. Top two waves will be scored. The winner of this heat will move on to the quarterfinals and face off with Galerie Tomega. Wow, Dave Winchester has a lot of... There we go, Mark McCarthy up and riding, and he just opts out on that thing. Nothing really happening for that one. No, but if Dave Winchester does advance on, he's got to face the another fierce competitor, Galerie Tomega. That would be an amazing heat, but if Mark McCarthy advances, yeah. those two have to go head-to-head. -head. Which, Galerie Tomega is actually in the running as well. He's currently, I think, ranked second. Right behind Dave Winchester. So, yeah, Dave Winchester does have his work cut out for him. Here we go. Dave Winchester up and riding, looking for something, and nothing really happening. Hits the water in a little frustration, but uh, he's up with a 7.75 right now. Dave Winchester, unbelievable. First, day, first wave of the day and first wave of the heat with a 7.75, trying to... Uh, uh, better that's that get a better second wave and that last one was not it right there so Dave Winchester paddling back out priority is in the hands of Mark McCarthy so Mark can wait out there knowing that he can pick off any wave that he wants that comes his way at whether Dave Winchester is there or not so Trevor Cam Manny B holding it down for this last day day number seven of the Encanto Pro brought to you by cpuertorico.com we have about 15 minutes remaining in this heat and not really big scores posted yet. 
except for Dave Winchester's first wave. He just needs a second wave, and he could secure that first place spot. We're going to give you uh, the lowdown, the actual possibilities of the World Tour title race as we get closer to the final. Uh, we don't want to confuse you. We don't want to, you know. There we go. Mark McCarthy. Loop. Mark McCarthy. Why he chose this wave, I have no idea. I think he just wants to get a solid wave under his belt. And you can see the frustration right there as he hits his board and knows <laughs> that he lost priority. He's sitting on two scores of a 3.8 and a 1.9. And uh, But amazingly, there's already been 10 minutes that have gone by, and the best wave is so far just that wave from uh, Dave yeah. Winchester. So it's still uh, the door's still wide open, but... What is Dave going to do with priority and the, the highest scoring wave in this heat so far? Again, yeah. thank you for tuning in. Trevor Cam and Manny V here holding it down for these first couple heats. Charles is tuned in as well. Going for Mark McCarthy. He's over in the Southern Cape Bodyboarding, South Africa. What you're looking at on your screen right there, that, those are the priority oh, boxes. Yep. The box on top says yellow. Dave Winchester has priority out in the water. Second priority, Mark McCarthy. Essentially, the priority just adds another little factor in the competition, and you can actually use that as a tactic and, uh, as, or a strategy to fend off your riders or to use it to your advantage as far as uh, waiting and picking off the best waves. Yeah. <sighs> so. Matt, hey, Matt. Uh, Matt uh, Domingsel from Oahu, Hawaii says, what's up, Trevor? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Alex Ross from Cronola and Juarez from Brazil, Tasman in the Gold Coast. So again, this is one of those crucial heats out in the water, 13 minutes remaining. If you are watching, text, Facebook, uh, Instagram, do whatever you got to do to get your friends to watch this heat because this could determine uh, or could be a big yeah. factor on the world title race. Mark McCarthy currently one of those riders who can take off a world title, can take pull off a world title, but he has a slim chance. He has to win both events here at the Encanto Pro and Fronton. Totally possible. We've seen yeah. crazier things. But um, it's Dave Winchester who has the title to lose because he is currently in first place right now with those tour points. So a tough, tough heat to get through right now for Dave Winchester, but he's looking pretty comfortable with that 7.75 and priority in his hands. Oh, my. Coming up next, look at that, the Brazilians. You're going to see stretching right there is uh, coming up Uri next. Uri Yeah. Former world champion Uri Valadão from Brazil, Roberto Bruno, eating away, getting some energy. He is um, currently out of the event. Or actually, I'm sorry. He is currently out of the event, but smiling right there, patiently calm and cool. Edder Luciano on the green T-shirt. He is uh, coming up next. We'll be facing off with a whole one. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob Vanderbilt. So he's going to be coming up next, but Uri Valadao getting ready. The Brazilians, look at that. That is one incredible shot right there. Just throw in um, a few more heads, and okay, you, we'll you will have a, uh, the Brazilian Mark, contingent. But look at this, Mark, Mark McCarthy. McCarthy. Nice roll on the outside. Cuts into a spin, another spin, and just cuts out. He he knew he just needed that one score on his belt, and uh, he's, he's going to try and get back out there with a little over 10 minutes remaining and get a better score. Here we go, Manny. Take us to the replay. Yes, yeah, so this is Mark McCarthy trying to better his uh, 3.88 at his top scoring wave. And, again, he doesn't have priority, so he's going to be getting all these little scraps on the inside. But uh, that right there could be a solid wave just, you know, to better his 3.88. Good wave, good combination of maneuvers. Mark McCarthy, yes, at 5.03. Mark McCarthy, sponsored by Stealth Boards and Fins, Lizard Clothing, and Emerald Board Bodyboard Specialist. 2011 IBA World Tour ranking, ninth place overall last year. He would like to better that this year, and he's looking good. But uh, his first thing is to try to beat Dave Winchester in this first heat of the day in round number six. Knowing now he, he does have a five, um, he just needs to better that. Actually, when he only has one wave, one scoring wave under his belt, and um, I think Mark McCarthy actually moved in the first with that. He did. So um, Dave Winchester looking to better with that 775 um, and to move back into first place. Dave Winchester looking to wrap up a world title here at the Encanto Pro, and a lot of variables are at stake, but he can do it here at this event, but... Uh, He's got a, long, a hard battle against uh, yeah. 
right now, Mark McCarthy, and if he wins this heat, we'll have to face off with GT. But Mark McCarthy, you can see it right there. He has two low-scoring waves, but Dave Winchester only really needs a 1.16 to get that first-place spot away from him. Mark McCarthy, he has second priority. Dave Winchester has that first priority, so he can pick pretty much any wave he wants out in the water right now. We have about uh, 9 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. So he can pull it off. Dave Winchester's closest bid for a world title was in 2009 where he placed second behind Jeff Hubbard. Yeah. And uh, he would like to better that with a world title here in 2012. Again, we have Steve Action Jackson tuning in from Rio de Janeiro <laughs> in Brazil, giving us uh, little factoids coming in through the back door right yeah. there. Thank you, Steve Action Jackson. Hopefully we can work something out to get you on the tour uh, so we don't have to get you Skyping in. We can have you right here with your bearded self. Look at this. Nine minutes, ten seconds remaining. Round number six, heat number one. You see heat 29 on your screen, but this is the 29th heat of the men's division, but the first heat of round number six. Are they talking to each other? That's the question. I think once you get into the water, I don't think yeah. uh, there's any... Um, they're great friends out of the water. Yep. All of these bodyboarders, great camaraderie on the water, but I'm telling you, uh, you just everybody's uh, mentality turns to stone and they realize what's at stake here. So it's a competition. They're touching the water and um, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll say, hey, so. Yeah, they're I'll, talking. Yeah. They're talking. But I'm wondering what they're saying. It's like, so how'd you do on your last wave? <laughs> or, or are they saying, oh, yeah, uh, like, I've been uh, going to the beach, relaxing with the family and, you know, yeah. I'll check out this photo of my, my daughter. Yeah. Or it's like, <laughs> hey, man, you're going down. I I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to beat you. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, we'll find, we, we need to mic up the competitors out there right now. 13 minutes, 12 seconds remaining. What's up, Trevor? Um, they just switched the time. I think it's 30-minute heats. Okay, we're going to double-check that right now with the upstairs. Because we were just at 9 minutes, and now the clock went back up to 13. So um, we'll see about that. Uh, just stay tuned on that. We got Mark McCarthy taking a look. Nothing. All right, I am getting a confirmation. The time did change, and you are not seeing things, Trevor, even though you do have a tendency to hallucinate. <laughs> the time did change, and Dave Winchester oh, out again. the back. Another wow. Barrel. Let's get a mortgage uh, written up for Dave Winchester as he's clocking some serious barrel time here at Middles and ends that wave with a nice roll. That's uh, going to be looking a good second score. Not a super clean roll. He did kind of roll that over, not using the projection off the lip, but he, he did manage to pull that off. Look at this. Dave Winchester, bottom turning into the barrel, just sitting in it again, looking, driving through that barrel. He's still driving and just comes out fairly clean, actually, and looking for that roll, and hits off that roll. He knows he needs to win it, and He's doing every maneuver he can. Just cuts out. Looking like a good second sto score for Dave Winchester. Yes, yeah, Dave Winchester, S sponsored by NMD, Reflex Wetsuits, Grand Flavor, Sun Zapper, Stealth, Dragon, and BSC Bodyboarders, Sur Bodyboarders Surf Co. We got scores dropping down right now. What do we got? We have a 6.93 on Dave Winchester's last wave. 6.93. So... Wow, Mark McCarthy needs a 9.65 to go into first place and advance into that next round. Well, with 11, again, we did see the time change, and we did uh, adjust that because these are 30-minute 30 30 minute heats out in round number six, and uh, Dave Winchester is pulling way ahead of Mark McCarthy. Now Mark is looking for a 9.65 on his second wave, but I tell you, he might as well just get rid of those two waves that he has on his scorecard right now. So Mark McCarthy has an uphill battle against Dave Winchester in the first heat of the day, round number six. Trevor, how are you feeling this morning? Um, I'm cold. This is <laughs> like the <laughs> ice box in here. They've been calling it the ice box. Look at the Brazilians getting ready, getting the, the support going. Isabella Sosa, uh, unfortunately, uh, got knocked out in the semifinals in the women's division against Sadio Ohara. The Japanese uh, wonder kid, 17-year-old. But the Brazilians gathering, watching, and supporting their own countrymen so and women. So we have um, NMD and Versus sponsoring the Fronton event in 2000, this year, 2012. And uh, that's going to be the event to watch as well. High scoring, like 
high maneuvers, everything. Whether Dave Winchester wraps up a world title here at the Encanto Pro or not, Fronton is definitely one of those events that you're going to have to watch if you're a bodyboarder because that pretty much is next level. To be live at Fronton and to see what this uh, amazing wave does is incredible. And we're going to bring that live to you from the Gran Canarias, the Canary Islands. Both Dave Winchester and Mark McCarthy taking a look at that one. I, I mean, right now, I think we can get a shot of the priority boxes right now to see exactly what happened out there, whether uh, Dave Winchester lost that priority or if Mark uh, still maintains it. We're going to take a look and pull the camera over to the boxes, and there they are. Yellow. Again, these are the priority boxes. Yellow means that Dave Winchester has the first priority, and the red box, Mark McCarthy, has second priority, which means... Dave Winchester can hold off and wait for any wave that he wants without being interfered by Mark McCarthy. Currently in this heat, there's about nine minutes. You see Amari Laverne running down the beach, getting ready for his next heat against the Brazilian Uri Varadal. And um, Dave Winchester, he's sitting comfortably. Um, there's about just about eight minutes, 50 seconds. Mark McCarthy oh. up and riding. <laughs> Not Looking as for a barrel, nothing really happening. Not as big of a barrel, not as long as a barrel, and he actually didn't come out of that either. So Mark McCarthy, he's uh, now it's uh, crunch time for Mark McCarthy where he has to look for pretty much, I, I would say, two whole new waves. And Dave Winchester just showing the consistency of his dominance throughout the 2012 World Tour in this first heat. So very, very... Uh, very intense heat right now for Mark McCarthy. If he yeah. can't pull off a solid wave in these last eight minutes, you can see a 9.65 is the one wave that he needs to get in that first place spot. But he again, I think the judges are being a little conservative right yeah. off the bat because that first wave of Dave Winchester, long barrel ride, uh, a couple other maneuvers, 7.75. Uh, any other day, I would have probably been <laughs> in the eight point range yeah. or eight close to nine. But again, the judges are pretty good about be, play, having a, a steady and consistent scoring system because later on, what if somebody uh, you know does that and comes out with a giant, gigantic air reverse spin? Yeah, you can't. Uh, so you they're can't really they're, better that. Yeah, so they're being pretty good about being conservative right off the bat. You know, we have the head judge Chico. He's really good at judging, and uh, we also have the other judges, uh, Dudu and Dave Kelly from Hawaii, and this. Yes. There's, yeah, it's a good judge panel, you know? There, are, there is a certification the judges have to go through, and it's always great to see some uh, former and, you know, current awesome bodyboarders up yeah. in the booth. Uh, uh, Mr. Kelly and Mr. Pedra both are very, very good, and you still see them out in the water, so it's great to have those guys up in the judging panel. Again, Dave Winchester leading the charge right now in this first heat. This, uh, this was a detrimental heat right now for the world, points, uh, world title points mm -hmm. with about... Uh, Seven minutes remaining. I'm going to refresh that. Because I think um, Mark McCarthy actually. There we go. So scores are still draw starting to drop right now. That's the refresh button right there. I don't know if you have a computer or if you use computers back home, Trevor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Mark McCarthy taking a look at this. He's looking for a section. He knows he needs a high-scoring wave. Oh, oh nice. Wow. Hit. That was a nice flip by Mark McCarthy. He's looking to milk it all the way in to see if he can build on that with see if he can do anything else, and he just cuts out. That would be, you know, a better, I think it would better his five and put him out of that nine-point range to get into first. So here we go, Manny. Take us through the replay. All right, Mark McCarthy driving. He knows he has to do something different, not his conservative role, but so he goes into a perfect ARS, a nice solid ARS, clean landing. And uh, pulls that off, and one one maneuver wave. But you know what? He needs something critical like that, a very uh, technical maneuver, and he pulls that off cleanly. And the judges know that six point three three. That's what he needs to do. Now he has time. Dave Winchester, I believe, was on that wave, kicks out, which probably opened the door for uh, Mark McCarthy to get out to the outside and get that priority away from Dave Winchester. And look at the box holding off. Holding steady right now. Dave Winchester cut out in time to s remain on the outside. Yeah. So Dave Winchester probably was on the outside before Mark McCarthy can get back out to the outside. So priority remains in Dave Winchester's hands. And Wh What's he going to do with it? It's going to be the question because we are running out of time for Mark McCarthy. So now Mark McCarthy's situation. 
we have Dave Winchester taking a look maybe at this one. And is he going? He's up and riding. Dave Winchester in a solid wave comes around that section and oh look at that a big God. air maneuver and invert from Dave Winchester. A solid wave right there. Solid score, definitely. And he's just picking off these gems yeah. out the back, which uh, could be uh, Mark McCarthy's uh, wave selection has been the crucial factor in this heat right now. Oh, my. Wow. Dave Winchester has been killing it this morning. And he, he we have... Wow, big scores looking uh, to be coming through for Dave Winchester. With the priority system, red has priority, Mark McCarthy, and yellow. Taking another look at Dave Winchester's wave. As you can see, he's a little behind the section, but it has a perfect bottom turn to come around that section. And look at this error. Perfect Good. invert right there. Tweaks it out. Tweaks his board. Gets inverted and pulls it off cleanly. You're not going to be able to see any cleaner error that, than that right there from Dave Winchester, or any rider for that matter. If you want to keep up when, on Dave Winchester and his uh, happenings, check out his blog, DaveWinchester.com. That's where you're going to see all the information about what he has going on in his life. And also, follow your booty <laughs> is uh, Mark McCarthy's blog if you want to follow him <laughs> uh, on his adventures. But here we are, 3 minutes, 45 seconds remaining out in the water. Mark McCarthy looking for an 8.92 to get that first place spot away from Dave Winchester. We've seen it happen. It's not impossible. We've seen it happen. And uh, Dave Winchester opting to go on a smaller way because he does not have priority. A left hand, not much there for Dave Winchester. Yeah, I think Dave Winchester is actually going to start moving around a little bit more now. He's sitting in a comfortable lead and uh, without priority. Usually people without priority tend to catch a little more waves and look for that little inside ones. And... Um, yeah, anything is possible for Mark McCarthy, though. As we've seen yesterday, Dave Winchester in one of his heats. Uh, I think Roberto Bruno had the... He came back. B Roberto Bruno was in com combo and uh, actually ended up winning that heat. And when he was blowing that heat, like, he had eight sevens, like, high eights, high sevens, and anything is possible. We've even seen uh, the local legend himself, Bobby Quinones, come out of... Uh come out of the darkness in the last few seconds of his heat and actually winning that heat and got catapulted into the quarterfinals number two with a giant backflip. We saw that yesterday and we can't thank you enough for tuning in uh, every single day. And I'm going to put something right now on our Facebook page. Um, again, I can't get to all of, the, all of the comments, but I can get to at least the first 10 or 20 of them. So yep. let me know. Again, I've already read off the first little batch, but where are you at? is the question. Where are you tuning in from? Where are you uh, posted up? And are you at work? Or are you at home? Or are you on the beach if you're yeah. tuned in? We actually had a couple people say they're right here on the on beach. The beach. <laughs> <laughs> so they're wow. getting uh, the both uh, the live feed on their, which they get to see the replay. And I got to tell you something. As a viewer, you, uh, you get to see the replays. You get yep. to see two or three different angles of each of the waves. And uh, you guys pretty much have one of the best seats in the house. So, uh, and you get to, you know, feel like you're, be you're, like you're here. I love it. As you can see, the conditions are still fairly clean. It's not windy like yesterday or as windy. Yes, we've had a pretty uh, incredible... Um, yeah, Mark, oh, oh Winnie. No. Dave Winchester, is he going to come out of that? Wow, I think every single wave he's got high scored on. Oh, wow. Mark McCarthy, unfortunately, not in position to get that right-hander that just spit all over the place. So there are some epic waves yeah. still coming through. Mark McCarthy, unfortunately, wasn't in position to catch that right-hander, but he needs a solid score right now. Anything with a barrel ride and a combination of maneuvers could do it. He just has one minute left, one oh, minute remaining. No. Mark Whoa. McCarthy, I think that last set, oh, he knows time is running out, so he's going to go for this little insider one. He's looking for an 8.92. Will this be it? Mark McCarthy, no. Oh. Punches oh. Right, but a solid ARS right there. Yeah. You know what? He's not going to go down in vain. He is going to show that he has the skills to be out here in the competition at this level. Mark McCarthy, for sure, a <laughs> com fierce competitor out in this uh, competition, but it looks like he is, the time is winding down. Another look at what just happened. Here we go. Mark McCarthy's taking a look, looking for that ramp. He's driving, driving, and he goes up and through the lip for that ARS. Actually pulls it off 
fairly clean, and uh, he just rides it out. He knows he needs something, and he's not going to give up. As you can see, he's paddling back out with about 10 seconds remaining. <laughs> that score comes in at a 6.3. So 6.33 and a 6.3 are his two high-scoring waves. And that is the end of the heat, but I believe this wave will count for Winnie. But he knows he's got this heat locked in. So slowly but surely, Dave Winchester chipping away at the world title to try to lock it up here in the Encanto Pro, brought to you by C 